Hi, my name is Divya Kalimuthu and I'm the Functional Safety Engineer for Tensilic IP. Welcome to another episode of Whiteboard Wednesday. This session is in continuation of my previous uh, episode where I spoke about the introduction to functional safety and uh, a little bit about uh, what ISO 26262 means. In today's uh, episode, I will talk about how uh, Tensilica developed uh, their IP into a functional safety application. So in, t in terms of looking at the supply chain, Tensilica is an IP supplier and then we supply the IP to an integrator or the customer or the user. So while developing this, typically I, we do not know the end application of where the targeted application is going to be for this IP. So while developing the IP as a safe product, we chose to do what is called a COC. COC is a safety element out of context. It just means that I do not know my end targeted application. Therefore, I'm going to develop my safety product keeping certain assumptions in mind. This assumption actually needs to be agreed between the supplier and the integrator and which will be documented as part of the DIA, which is what the standard requires us to do. We developed the COC uh, for um, an ASIL B random hardware and ASIL D systematic software failures. So once this COC was developed targeting these ASIL metrics that we have, we, did, we finished all the work products that is necessary for each of these. Once we have the work products in place, work product, like I mentioned earlier, is just a piece of evidence that tells I have taken care of everything the standard requires us to do for each of these safety metrics. These work products are as part which goes to a customer is what is we part, uh, we call the safety hardware safety kit. We have a safety manual, we have a DIA, we have a verification report that we verified the product uh, for the necessary ASIL. We have an ISO 26262 certificate in place, and we have what we call the FMEDA. FMEDA is a failure mode effect and diagnostic analysis. The FMEDA is actually what we uh, is part of the uh, safety analysis. So let's go back to how we get to your certificate and everything. So now we have a metrics that is set for you to target your CEOC development. Now that we have, we have done all we, what we did for the, the standard requires us to do, we used, the standard also tells us to use an independent uh, reviewer or an auditor to do a confirmation measure. So once our development is done, we use um, our, our consultant who verified whatever we have done and gave us a 26262 certificate for ASLB random hardware and ASLB systematic software. Now that we have this, we have a safety kit. Once a customer comes into picture, they receive a hardware safety kit with all of these necessary documents, but the verification and the safety analysis is done specifically for their configuration. So if you know, know about Tensilica, Tensilica is a configurable core, so it has a variety of uh, options that a customer can choose. So although this certificate is the certificate on the safety manual is, is a one certificate package, your safety analysis and your verification is done specifically for the targeted uh, configuration a customer picks. Stay tuned for next week's Whiteboard Wednesday to learn more about uh, FMEDA for uh, safety analysis.